Hi again, Guido here. And now I have connected my Wacom One to my PC. And what you have to do now is um, to install the Wacom driver. So to do this, you go to the Wacom website. And on the Wacom website, you go to support. And on the support side, you go to drivers, manuals and downloads or simply scroll down and then you just go here and just looking for drivers here's our latest and you find always the latest driver from Macintosh and Windows on our website just go to download and click and it takes a couple of seconds it's not that big here we done Start the installation. We can close down the web browser now. Okay. Accept the end user license agreement. And now it takes a couple of seconds to install the driver features. The nice thing is um, by installing the Wacom driver, the driver functionality or the, the, the ability to recognize the Wacom pen is also enabled in Office applications like Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Office is enabling the pen functionality when it discovers an installed Wacom driver, which is quite neat. But this I show in a different video. Okay, now he wants to have a restart. So now after installing the driver and rebooting my PC, I have the Wacom Desktop Center, which is basically the central hub and control platform for my Wacom One display. So a couple of things. So um, I can control here. First of all, important is you can redeem your free bundle software by just clicking on it, re registering for a Wacom ID and download the software as you like. And you can adjust all the settings of your tablet. So you can adjust the pen settings, so the, the pressure curve and the setting of the button. You can change the display settings like um, brightness, contrast, and the color space. And you can have always access to documentation, user help, and tutorials. Um, let's have a look and go to pen settings. So this is basically the, the Wacom driver control panel. And here you do your basic settings of your software. The nice thing is every setting you do in terms of um, pen button settings, which is by default the right mouse click, but I can do whatever keyboard shortcut or whatever tablet functionality I want, uh, you can do per application. So if you are in a schooling environment, you have different um, applications you work with, like a Zoom video conference, like Jitsi Meet, like a PDF annotator, or like your office applications, you can have different pressure settings and different button settings in each application. 